Okay, now we're on to weld number three on flux cord arc welding, and that is the lap joint. Lap joint we've done before several times with different welding processes. Again, you're gonna grab two two inch by six inch, five sixteenths inch thick plates, and you're gonna slightly overlap them approximately halfway or one inch. We're gonna tack with the welding gun on each end. That way we don't have to weld over a tack. If you bring me your material and it's properly measured exactly at two inches, you'll get some extra credit points for being able to read a tape measure finally. All right, uh, you may notice that when you cut on the shear, there may still be a little bit of a burr. So you might wanna grind your tacks down so that those burrs don't interfere with a nice tight fit up. Again, you really don't wanna weld with a big gap on one side. So in order to make sure that we can weld both sides of this lap joint, we're going to squeeze them together just like this, about an inch overlapped, tack, tack, and we go ahead and set this down and weld it. Okay, let's get our helmet on. Okay, so now that we got this plate tacked, Again, I, I'm not really fond of going directly in front of me. That's not how my hand usually goes. I tend to have the plate slightly at an angle in front of me as I drag along. All we're gonna try and do is get a weld puddle in there. We don't really need to do any manipulation. Uh, what I'm looking for in this weld is a consistent weld size and placement. Um, you may throw a multiple pass uh, fillet weld into this lap joint to go all the way up to the edge of the plate, but you can also leave the edge exposed as long as your weld is nice and straight and consistent. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a first run. And again, I would set the quarter inch settings on the flux board chart for this weld. That's a good starting point. Dry run, make sure you feel comfortable. Okay, you can see that lap joint nice and even in there. A little bit maybe wandering slightly, but that would be leaving the edge exposed. Let's go ahead and do another one where I throw a multi-pass down in there. If you wanted to fill this up in one pass, you would definitely need to go up to uh, higher settings maybe even the 3 8 or half inch settings and again going really slow but be aware it's going to get really hot if you go that in one pass for 045 wire to try and fill this joint up in one pass is not really recommended okay when i'm welding i'm still going to go slightly below 45 degrees in because i want to make sure that uh, if i'm low like this gravity will pull the puddle down to where I want it. If I'm already at 45, my puddle and my bead will end up being flatter. So I want to be a little bit more like 40 degrees as I drag along with a slight drag angle, maybe about 15 degrees. So we don't want to get too lazy or too upright, and we also want to get too far back. A lap joint. Again, leaving the edge exposed, nice and consistent down there. There's your lap joint. Now, if I'm gonna do a, a second or third pass, I always start at the bottom and work my way to the top. We will do this in a T joint, but it's also kind of fun to do it in a lap joint. I'll go slightly. So when I'm welding this, I'm not gonna put my wire right on the toe. I'm gonna to put my wire slightly up on the inside of the face of the weld. And again, I'm gonna have 
somewhat of a 40 degree angle as I weld along that toe. Now when I do my last pass, I'm going to put the wire basically right in the middle of that gap and go slow enough that I see it bridge the top plate corner edge. Okay, so there's your lap joint if you choose to do several passes in there to get it up to the top edge. And there's your lap joint if you do a single pass. Again, consistent bead width. Chances are you'll do a first one like this and maybe if it's not consistent enough, I'll have you do those two more to try and make a nice consistent finish. That's your lap joint. Uh, go ahead, again, two two inch pieces by six inch pieces, five sixteenths material. Put your settings about the quarter inch material for a single pass where you're going to leave the edge and maybe go into a multi-pass. If you want to try and fill it up in one pass, you're going to need to go half inch or three-eighths settings. Make sure again you chip between each pass and quench it often. Good luck.